Hello YouTube, Tony Williams from Anaxis here and we are going to show you today how to uh, remotely playback video and export using the Legend VMS Client software. So let's get at it. All right, so we're gonna get into this. We're gonna do some uh, playback and exporting of video directly on the uh, Legend VMS Client. So this is a client software that you would uh, use remotely to connect to the local Legend NVR. So maybe you're at, uh, in, a, in your office, the, the NVR is you know, in the back room, or you're at home, you wanna connect and review video, okay? So you would download Legend VMS from our website. You go, we have a downloads page. You go there, you download the software, you install it, you create an account through Legend VMS, and then uh, there is a, a method to get your NVR connected. We're not gonna talk about that in this particular video, but we are gonna show you now how to do uh, playback and exporting a video right now. So here we have uh, the Legend Client. So this is kind of the main uh, screen where you can select different things, like if you wanna look at Live View, uh, you wanna do playback, etc. So I'll show you what Live View looks like. Uh, so right now I'm actually connected to a couple different NVRs here and uh, I'm going to show you what that looks like so I can just basically drag in you know different cameras uh, into the screen and so now I've got some different things happening here I'll drag me drag a couple of more and you can also see there's a couple of line crossings set up so uh, if you watch one of the other videos you would have seen uh, you know how we set up line crossing on a legend NVR directly all right so how do we do playback okay so um, Going to the control panel, there is a button here called playback. We simply click that, and there we're gonna pick um, one of the NVRs. So I'm gonna pick a couple of different cameras here. Now here you can see um, there's a little calendar view, and then there's a bunch of red dots beside these dates. That indicates that there's recording or events um, on those particular days. So we're just gonna look at today, which happens to be October 10th. So I'm just gonna pick that day and click search, right? So now uh, you can see a bunch of recorded events came up on the right. So you can go through and you know play those kind of one at a time if you want. Um, or you have your, um, your kind of timeline down here where it shows you um, different types of events. So, so you can see there's a little uh, legend here. So blue is going to indicate you know, motion activated recording. And then the red is going to be other types of uh, alarm events, which may be line crossing, etc. Okay, so I'm going to find something other than in the middle of night here and get some more interesting video. Okay, so here we've got, uh, you know, shot of our uh, parking lot outside of our facility in Montreal. And this is actually starting to play back right now. So if I want to now, um, you know, look at exporting that video. So I'm playing it back already. It was as simple as that. I went into the playback menu and did a search and it automatically started uh, playing back the video. Uh, if I want to export this video now, I, if you watch the other video of ex exporting and doing playback locally on the NVR, uh, it's very, very similar process. So you hover over the uh, camera in question and you will see um, the little scissors icon. So here you can say, start clipping. So I click that and now you can see here that the video is continuing to play. I'm just going to make this a little bigger. Okay, so the video is continuing to play, but I started my marker point uh, back here, kind of the beginning of this blue area. Okay, so it's still sort of playing. I can, I can speed up the video here, go four times, and now you can see that blue little, uh, you know, color-coded um, thing it's creating, and that's indicating my export area. So now I'm gonna go back over here and clip, click on the scissors to stop, okay? So now I've created this like the bookmarks. We did the bookmarks on the, the local recorder to export video. This one doesn't quite give you the bookmarks, but you do a start point stop the clipping at an end point, and then it automatically pops up with the times and dates and the duration of that clip, okay? And then you can simply click okay, 
and now that video is going to start downloading. So it's going to pull video from the Legend NVR and bring it back down to um, the uh, client that you where you can play and review that video or burn it onto a USB thumb drive or where, whatever you want to do. Okay, so that, now that we've um, found our video, we marked it, we clipped it, we saved it to our laptop, where does that file go and how do you get it off your your computer, okay? So down here you'll see a little icon that looks kind of like a clipboard. Uh, so if you click on that, that is going to show you where all of your uh, saved videos are, okay? So then you'll see uh, you have some options here. You can play back uh, the clip. Um, you can uh, open the folder where it's stored or you can delete it, okay? So if you wanted to copy it over to USB uh, thumb drive as an example, uh, you can just simply open the folder. It'll show you where it's at. And now you can just simply use Windows copy and paste functions and put on your USB drive. And that is it. So now we've learned how to play back and save video clips on the Legend VMS remote client, right? Uh, perfect. So if you have any questions on this functionality or anything else, leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and stay tuned to uh, keep up on all our great videos that we're posting. Um, in Axis, we are a global manufacturer of video, video surveillance products, access control, intrusion, uh, camera systems, PoE switches, custom servers, you name it, we got it, okay? We have an amazing sales team that is here to serve you across the country. So please uh, visit our website. You can find all our contact info there. Uh, we have sales reps all over the place. So uh, yeah, just reach out and we're here to help you design your projects, quote your projects, help you with the bill of materials, everything. All right, so thank you and have a great day.